I believe that community hospitals are the backbone of our healthcare system, not only in rural areas, but in others. And I believe that as a community hospital, you have to sit out on your doorstep, you know, figuratively, and look at what the issues and the needs are in the community. So our role is not just in terms of the acute care, but also looking out. And very often when you look out on that doorstep, you will see things that aren't always that pretty. And St. Joe's is our mission, but also because we are a community hospital, we believe that we should either be there helping to solve those problems or at least providing leadership to bring people together. Very often the problems are incredibly complex. No one individually would have the resources or the brain power to solve them. But we believe that St. Joe's should be a facilitator to bring people together to provide leadership and at times provide direct resources. Those problems within our community, again, they're not always pretty and we have an incredible community, but they're around human trafficking. They're around the homeless population. They're around our epidemic around substance use disorder and alcohol, which is a huge issue in our community. Food scarcity, the social determinants. So, you know, one of the starts was forming the Community Health Leadership Board, trying to get other leaders around the table. Because what I found out when I first came here, this is an incredible city. People really band together, I think partly from the ethic of, you know, we're pretty far up north. If we don't help ourselves, nobody else will. But when I went around and talked to people, there were so many people doing incredible things like PenQuest and other organizations, but nobody knew what everyone else was doing. And at times we were in conflict with each other applying for grants. You know, it was a role for me and for St. Joe's to say, we're gonna pull those parties together and try and see how we can collaborate.